Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This week's scrapbook layout is one of me as a baby. This was my first Christmas. So I was almost one, my birthday's in January. So um, it was a funny Christmas apparently because as you can see, my parents thought it was highly entertaining to stick big like wrapping bows on my head. And I had one of those lovely bibs, my ba or baby's first Christmas, whatever it says on there. But the reason I'm so miserable in this picture is my mum was feeding me Christmas dinner or, so, you know, obviously baby version of that. And I just didn't like it, particularly sprouts. Now, I know I'm not alone when it comes to loving or hating sprouts. I can't stand them even today. So I just had to do a scrapbook layout of this picture. So it's black and white and it is pretty pixelated. Again, this is a long time ago, so it was a very basic camera, but it's still a great photo. So I am using a... This is a paper pack from last year. This is a Simple Stories a Very Merry Christmas pack. Now, you may still be able to get hold of this. I will share links in my blog. But if you head over to Thompson's Craft Supplies, get that one out, there are the obviously the newer ones, so this year's, and she's got some amazing Christmas papers. So again, I'll share all of that in my blog. So I was going through the pack, choosing the 12 by 12 background that I want to use. And um, all the papers are gorgeous, really, really lovely. So I wanted to try and combine as many of these papers into this one layout. So I've opted for that kind of striped one, which has got just little candy canes, little Christmas trees, all kinds of smaller images. And then on top, I'm going to slowly start layering up other kind of strips from the pack, but rip the sides just to give it a little bit of texture. So you can see this first kind of gingham checked print one that I'm bringing in. And then I'm laying down this really nice washi tape. Now, my mum actually got these from a charity shop and they're just really, really nice. They're, you know, it's like a, a really off yellow colour, a really kind of dull red and a dull green. They've got a real nice vintage feel to them. So they worked really well with this paper pack. So that one that I've just stuck down there just says like Merry Christmas and just some other kind of Christmas sayings. So I'm happy with the base there. Now the card I matted on some white cardstock and then also on some red and I've also popped some foam adhesive on the back but I haven't stuck it down yet. So now you can see I'm bringing in this really nice polka dot paper from the same pack and again I'm just doing that same ripped effect just to create some texture on both sides and then that one is going to go up the top. So I'm covering a lot of the paper, but I wanted you to see lots of different parts because I think, you know, these papers are so lovely and I just struggle sometimes to choose. So I thought this would be a nice way to see them all. So the title for this is Bar Humbug because I just thought that was really fun and it just suits that picture perfectly. But you can see at the minute it looks quite lost against that polka dot. So I do end up changing that in a minute. Now, this was just one of the pattern papers in the pack with this big flower, which is slightly off camera there, but I've just fussy cut it and I end up will, you know, that one will be stuck down towards the top left of the photo there. So there's this huge 12 by 12 sticker sheets and I've just gone along and tried to pull out kind of sayings that are kind of, uh, you know, contradicting the look on my face. So, you know, joy um whatever ones have I got there I can't see them again I again when I edit I do it on such a small screen and the the scrapbook layout isn't in front of me which I should do but I've got there I love Christmas and um you'll see the others again but it's yeah it was just a fun way that one says I think cheer and then I've just brought in some more oh that one was yeah don't get your um what's that one I can't remember what that one says now um but anyway again you'll see it all this is really bad isn't it I should I should know it all but I also done some Christmas trees, some uh, Christmas presents, and I've just stuck them all on that card to then cut around them. And it just makes them feel more like a chipboard or a strong cardboard kind of embellishment as opposed to just a sticker. So I've just, again, gone and ripped some white plain cardstock. And then you can see with that bar humbug now, it just really does pop and it just looks much better as a title on that layout. So these are all those pieces that I've gone and fussy cut now and you can just see they just they look so much better and because they've got that little red kind of frame now around them all it just ties it all in a bit better I think. So I've got some little candy canes towards the bottom left of the photo, all those other little sayings there that I've backed and they're just a much much easier they are much easier to manage and attach and just all that kind of stuff. Now the layout wasn't very shiny and I thought it's Christmas, it needs a bit of sparkle. So I've got this really nice wired thick, it's about an inch and a half ribbon. 
and it just looked really nice having a strip going through the kind of you know towards the bottom of the photo there so I just kind of moved everything around had a little play around with it and decided that I was going to pop that one in there so with it being fabric I've just used my double-sided tape and then I also popped some of my wet glue my tacky wet glue on there as well um, just before I stick it down and then again just above that kind of ripped piece because again I, want, I didn't want to hide that kind of texture which I'd done earlier and um, again it just brings another feel to the layout and just really makes it feel really festive and works well with those gold chipboard letters so i gone and kind of placed everything i never stick it all down until i'm really happy with it so now i'm sticking down that larger uh, background there that you can see and then slowly i start to bring everything back in so the bar humbug again i always say that, that you know they do stick but they don't end up lasting forever so i always like to go over them with my tacky glue so stick down that white then stick down the, the photo, which again, I'd already put on the double sided foam there just to raise it up. And I do that, as I've said before in layouts, it's just in case I decide I want to pop something else like slightly underneath the photo, tuck things in. I can still do that. So now I'm just adding in the tacky glue there just over them. And I didn't want them straight. So usually I do a straight title. But these ones, I think because, you know, I'm a baby and it was, a you know, kind of like a, a kid kind of theme. I just thought having the words kind of all kind of, you know, um, not lined up just looked quite fun. So with that big flower there, I have put some foam adhesive on one side and then I'm just popping some glue, wet glue on the other because actually I need it to become the same level as the photo. So I didn't want to put foam on the photo part just on the left there that's going to stick on the actual background. And then I just start bringing in all of those pieces now because I knew where I wanted them. So I've got those lovely stacked presents, that sticker that's just stuck down on that photo just to the right of me. And then again, just start. It's all on foam as well because I just wanted to continue that kind of slight height on the layout. So I'm just tucking in that little Christmas tree there. And then I've got this other present. So it's just a really nice way to use those stickers because sometimes, you know, I've had people email me before and they're like, oh, I don't know what to do with the sticker packs. I always put mine on card. And unless it's just like a little saying, sometimes I'll stick them directly on. But generally, I will always mount them on card and then cut them out. And they just make really nice little embellishments. And yeah, they just look, I think, nicer. So that's what I like to do. So you can see that I'm just going along with the rest of that foam and just lifting them all up. And uh, it's just really coming together really nicely. I, I loved doing this. And um, my mum really, really liked it as well when she saw it. So she said, oh, it's brought back so many memories. But um, it's just so fun. So now I'm just looking at those washi tapes again. So I thought I could add in, you know, some more. So this one has got just lots of candy canes all the way along. And I just wanted to bring another bit of red kind of down to that bottom and then just tuck them over each side. It's all very easy. Now I wanted to kind of highlight the fact that I didn't like my dinner. So I've got my alphabet labeler stamps there and I'm just trying to write out I hate sprouts. And I just thought it was just a really nice, fun way for anybody that looks through that, they can kind of see the photo, see the bar humbug, and then I hate sprouts, and it just all comes together. And you can see there, I've just stamped it and popped it just below the bar humbug. And then I have made a bow out of the same wired ribbon. And I'm kind of playing around with it at the minute. I wasn't quite sure where to put it. Then I've got these American Crafts Thickers. These are really lovely. This is their Christmas. Um, I can't remember the name. Again, all the supplies will be in my blog. And I'm just bringing out the, uh, that one is a snowflake. And then I've got that kind of strip there that I'm just sticking on the photo. More snowflakes. Again, you'll see all those in the photos at the end. It just gave another kind of dimension and another bit of shine. And then I'm coming in here with the Dovecraft Pearl Drops. So I've got this really nice green and then also this gold just to kind of help pull out the gold in the lettering there from the title then I just finish off with my hot glue and get my bow stuck down there and I end up going for it just below the candy canes and to the bottom left there of my photo and it's just really really fun love it so this is my first Christmas layout for this year so you will see some more of these over the coming weeks and they're just really really fun to do and it just it's nice to kind of go back and you know look at look at what you know how far I've come and <laughs> yeah you wouldn't think now I'm sat here doing these voiceovers and there's me as a little baby so it's quite fun but you can see there the close-ups and it just looks yeah it's really really 
cute and festive and um, yeah, it makes me smile. So hopefully you've enjoyed this week's scrapbook layout and I've inspired you to start doing some Christmas layouts or Christmas crafting in general, because as you can see, I'm well underway now. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. If you're new to the channel, I do the scrapbook layouts every Sunday. Just a nice little extra that I like to share with you all. So until next week, have a lovely weekend and I'll be back again on Monday with my usual tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.